Hey, what's up, everyone? This is day number 24 of the Advent of Cyber of 2023, the last day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this event. I really did. And today we're going to be learning about mobile forensics. So let's jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right. So today is, like I said, day number 24. I'm booting up the, uh, the machine here. So it's about mobile analysis. So mobile forensics, I'm assuming. So what the learning objectives are here, let's make this a little bigger is procedures of collecting uh, digital evidence. So autopsy, I'm sure we're going to be using that. That's what I read here. The challenge with modern smartphones. So I don't have my phone on me, but you can see iPhones, Androids, all that good stuff. So using autopsy for digital forensics with an actual Android image. So this is going to be about Androids. Okay. So this is really awesome if you're trying to get into forensics and I'm sure they have some content on TriHackMe to learn more. So we'll check that out soon. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the last 24 days of, or last 23 days of the advent of cyber. And I'm really grateful to be a part of it. Being a part of it this year meant a lot to me. So thank you, TriHackMe. And uh, yeah, so let's see, what are we gonna do today? Digital forensics is a method of using a science to solve crimes. We all know that. And let's just keep going. Acquiring a digital forensics image. So this is all about the acquiring the image, a computer that's switched off. So here's pretty cool. This is this is pretty interesting. Let's look, I wanna open up autopsy on the right-hand side here. Let that cook. So we can just keep coming down here, a computer that's switched on acquiring the smartphone image okay encryption in the smartphones all right so direct boot uh, boot based encryption mode all right so practical case awesome so this is what i want to see the main tools make blue uses to analyze the droids is the adb right and autopsy digital forensics all right so we can see all in here adb backup all so we're gonna use this so we can see everything in here as we go down this list, right? The main eliminations, ADB backup, allow backup equals false. And this is this guy doing some forensics. I did a lot of forensics back in the day with hard drives, with, uh, you know, autopsy in case and doing some stuff for litigation. That's always fun. So if you guys are interested, there's definitely a field out there for you. All right, so many commercial products use acquire images. However, the Android debug bridge can combine with other tools. All right, cool. Let's keep going down. Confirm the root is who am I? All right, so let's... Uh, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I think this thing is taking forever. So let's give that a moment. So are we actually logging? Where are we logging in this? Are we just going right to autopsy? I'm pretty sure, right? Do we have to do anything? Uh, digital forensics. I'm sure this is this all done for us. Uh, do, 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 do. He says we unlock the phones and so what is good. I'm just trying to see, make sure this is all good for us already. I'm sure it is because let's just go ahead and open up a new case. Why is this thing not? All right, let's see. Case. There we go. So open up a new case. We'll open up a case. So inside of documents, we have this autopsy file. So let's go ahead and open that bad boy up. And right here, we can see uh, uh, McGritty's Android right here. New case. All right, cool deal. I'm just going down the gritty. All right, so pretty much they have already created the case. So all we have to do is open it. That's what we just did. So this shows other ways how to do it. But I think what we're going to be doing is using this McGritty case file. Right. So once this opens, it's loading still. So maybe it's just taking a minute. Probably because there's a million people on the uh, on the box right now. So let's give this a moment. All right, so we have we have already created this image for you. Yes, thank you. 
module autopsy open the tracy mcgritty dot aut file or the case in a documents folder and then check out the and the, the questions so let's see these questions while this thing cooks one of the photos contains a flag what is the flag okay so we have to look at a photo what name does tracy use to say the detective's phone number okay we'll check that out shortly and then what is the uh do, 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 do. one sms exchange what is the password okay so let's go back up here so anytime let's go ahead and go look at the files here and then what is the f contains let's go about extension so if it's looking for an extension or a image file so let's go to images here let's try to open us up in a different screen just so it's bigger i'm going to open that up Yes, allow, that's fine with me. Maybe I should have done that in the first place. I'll let that cook for a second. I guess the Windows machines runs a little slower because it's Windows. Now it's logging in, doing all this fancy stuff. All I wanted to do is make it bigger. Happy holidays. I thought everyone would be like eating and open up gifts and all that stuff. But um, anyhow, so... Let's go back to the question. One of the, so we have to look at image files. So in image files, we can click on thumbnails up here on the top, because this is a table view, right? If we go to thumbnail, we can actually see the image, right? Actual image, uh, whenever it works. There we go. It's just a little slow. And obviously this is a little small, so we can see medium thumbnails and this is the size. Uh, let's just give this a moment. Now let's go to large. Let's go to large here and we'll see damn this is really slow all right so now there's going to be some pictures loading here and um what does it say a picture that contains a flag so one of these photos contains a flag let's see what it is we'll give this a moment to cook I'm just going to see if I can see anything that stands out from looking at this instead of double clicking into everything. All right. So does this have anything? Can't really see. Oh, right here. Is this it? Does that say digital forensics? All right, let me come down here. Uh, let's bring this up. Uh, let's come on. This thing is so slow. I think that says... THM Digital Forensics. I, let me see if that's right. THM. All right. And then DIG. Let me see if I can just DIG. Still underscore for Ren 6. Yep. Cool. Awesome. So now, what name does Tracy use to save detective phone number? What name? All right, so let's go ahead. What name? Let's see. Let's go to contacts here. Wow, this is really small. All right, so let's see if we can. Can we do thumbnails here? Even though it's probably easier to read it as a table. Let's just do table. So this right here, detective, detective, let me see, what does that say? Detective carrot nose, detective carrot nose. Let's see, detective, so I don't spell it wrong. I look like an idiot. Detective, I know how to spell carrot. Carrot, and I know how to spell nose. Okay, boom, so far so good. So now the last thing is one SMS exchange with then sprinkles contains a password. What is it? So there is a messages tab here. We can see, let's see, we can see something that has a password. Hey, what's up? So it looks like this is a phone number from and to. Does it show like the contacts? Let's go back to the contacts real quick. And let's go back here really quick and then sprinkles. Then sprinkles is 6854. Back to messages, 6854. Okay, cool. So what is the pet? Oh, right here. Is this a password? 
C H E E seven A Q U. Let's see. C A C H E E. Let's see if I can remember it. Seven A Q U. I think that was it. Awesome. There we go. That was super fun. I enjoyed that. That was pretty easy. A good way to finish the contest off.